There's one last note that I would like to make before I jump into the lecture. Um, in all of the lecture materials, you'll see a slideshow lecture at the top of the page, and beneath that you'll see my lecture videos, which are the ones that you're watching right now. Um, you may see some of these older videos that say um, Core Learning Objectives Chapter 9 or Chapter 9 um, Skills-Based Activities. I'll put a little note above them that says these are old and they're dated and you're not required to do the activities anymore, but they would just be an additional level of covering the course content that is beyond what I'm showing you. Um, in addition, if I've ever post any Adobe videos or YouTube videos beneath the ones that I've created, like the one that you're seeing here, I can't hit play because of copyright issues, but if I scroll down, there are videos that are posted. Um, I, I posted them as extra help. Sometimes things don't make as much sense when I say them as when someone else does or vice versa. And so if you're struggling with a topic, you can watch the videos below. But with this um, lecture topic, Selections of Mass, I've, I've submitted or I've included a lot of extra videos. You're not required to watch them and memorize them and complete them, but you should hit play and if it's something that interests you, you should watch it or if it's something that's covering a topic that maybe you're struggling with, you can use that as kind of a second level of help. So let's get started with the new lecture on selections and masks. Selections and masks, it's very difficult for me to say. Um, our objectives are somewhat broad, but we're going to do a lot of detail work um, today and so our objectives are to experiment with various selection tools to select digital content within images to master basic skills necessary to use the polygonal uh, sorry the lasso tool the polygonal lasso tool the magnetic lasso tool we will create basic rectangle and ellipse selections and use those selections um, to create borders and things like that or just wide areas for editing we'll also create selections using the magic wand and quick selections tool We'll understand how masks are created and why they are important for non-destructive editing. Plus, we'll make a connection between Photoshop masks and masking from traditional publishing because, as I keep saying in all my videos, Photoshop didn't kind of make up these ideas or these concepts. They took traditional things that were done with hands and paper and um, film and different things like that, and they figured out how they could translate it to digital terms. And so it's my personal opinion that if you understand how masking works in traditional publishing or how the dodge and burn tool work for traditional film photography, it allows you to better understand the process of what's happening inside Photoshop. And then we will do some other things like saving selections and loading selections. Um, I'll show you how to refine selections and do different things. Um, when you're ready, you can move on to the next video and we will officially start this lecture.